now that we know about uh, 25 to 50 percent of people are spreading asymptomatically, we suggested people wear cloth facial coverings. While the White House recommends we wear face masks in public, some states around the country have started making that mandatory. I signed an executive order which will require the wearing of masks or face coverings when inside any retail establishments. Many are left wondering which mask offers the best protection. Now, when we talk about face coverings, there are the surgical masks I wear in the hospital to protect patients from my own germs and avoid any splashes. And then there are the N95 respirator masks that must be fit tested in order to protect healthcare workers during certain procedures. It's the only one of these masks that prevents most very small particles from getting in when used properly. We need to keep those masks in their hands. Then there are the disposable cloth masks which you can buy in a store and online. They aren't made for surgery or for hospitals, but are also widely used. The CDC has recommended that we all wear cloth face masks like this one. My daughter made this one. When we go out in public, and we can't physically distance from each other. And keep in mind, the reason is not so much to protect ourselves, but to protect others from us. It should come as no surprise that these medical grade masks are more effective, but that doesn't mean we should dismiss the benefit of cloth masks. Let me show you. Take a look at this experiment done by researchers at the National Institutes of Health. They use lasers to help show how far spit droplets travel through the air when we talk. Spit Watch how far those green Think dots go it. when he speaks. Without the lasers, these Think droplets might be invisible to the naked eye. But now, with the cloth, we barely Think see anything. Happened. Exhalations come out in the form of a gas cloud. And the wearing of masks, therefore, could be, even if they're not high grade, a way to contain the range of that cloud. Lydia Bariba is a professor at MIT who studies the physics behind how diseases spread through coughing, sneezing, and breathing. Sneezes, which have the highest momentum, can then help these drops reach distances of up to 8 meters to 26 feet. Coughs are second in line in terms of their momentum, and that they can basically bring drops up to 16 to 19 feet. And then exhalations are third in line and bring drops uh, further to the source, around 6 or 7 feet. You can see now why wearing a mask, in addition to physical distancing, is so important your germs can travel far. We also want to make sure that that mask is also clean, right? So that it doesn't also become a source of secondary contamination. And you don't have to be a whiz with the sewing machine, like my daughter. An old t-shirt or a bandana will do. Ultimately, it's about having some form of barrier with multiple layers. That easy. 